Hey everybody, Rocky TV here, and today we're going to talk about the Gotcha Life community and why it's so toxic. Now, if you guys don't know what Gotcha Life is, Gotcha Life is a game where you can create your own stories and stuff like that. I believe it is. I actually don't know, so don't take my word for it, but it, it might be on what I just said. If you guys are actually curious about it, look it up. You know, you, you guys have Google on y'all's phones now, right? To perform a left click, press the left click button. The left click button is often located on the left. Here is another diagram. Anyways, back to what we were talking about. As you see right here, it's underlined. They're uh, toxic. Either or be square. The community is very toxic, and I don't know why. You guys don't know why. Chocolate sure in hell does not know why. And today we're going to talk about why they are. And how we could fix that. Now, to be honest, it looks like they just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Their community spans from like, from ages like, I guess, uh, 7 to about maybe 30. Maybe 20 as well. I don't know. Maybe 7 to 20. But I think it's 7 to 30. Because I've, I've had experiences where 30-year-olds play this damn game. And make content about it. And they suck too. <laughs> um... They're very toxic, and they're very mean. You know, you, you try to help out people that play Gotcha Life, how to, I guess, truly really improve their content and give your opinions, and they immediately tell you to fuck off. And uh, they just, they're very toxic. Like, when I'm streaming sometimes, they just come in, you know, in the streams and tell me to fuck off, or to go die, or go kill yourself, you fat bitch. And that's with every community, I guess, you know, there's a little bit of toxicity. But with, but with the Gotcha Life, there's a lot more of that, you know? Uh, I've had people pay... I've had the Gotcha Life community pay people to dislike my videos on, on alternate accounts and stuff like that, and quite frankly, it's fucking retarded. And uh, really, it just they woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Uh, for the 30-year-olds, I really can't exp uh, tell you why they're very mad. Maybe it's because they're 30, they're balding, and uh, they're playing a kid's game, and um, they're making a living off of it. I wouldn't say living off of it, but they're very di they're they're very disappointed, and, and you know in themselves and they want to, to express how they feel and and put it on other people and make them feel worthless and uh, shit like that and why they chose to play a shitty game and make content off of it now here's how we can fix that how to fix that uh, toxic community and make it into a let's say a, a not so toxic community right first wake up on the right side of the bed all right go to bed around like 8 30 9 30 Maybe having a good, you know, a water before you go to sleep. You know, pee as well because sometimes you piss the bed and, you know, when you sleep and that's and that's not cool. Maybe that's why you're so toxic because you piss your bed. I don't. I really don't know. Can't really. Can't really give you tips on that. But wake up on the good side of the bed. You know. Uh, second is, don't be a bitch. All right. If you're trying. If someone's trying to help you and give their opinions and they're not being a complete asshole. Don't be a don't be a complete asshole to, to them. Listen to what they got to say, all right? And it's up to you to either follow what they say or don't, okay? Don't be a bitch. Don't cuss them out. Don't pay people to to dislike their streams or their videos. That's not cool. You're you're one of the reasons why this community is so toxic. Now, there's a few. There's a I think one YouTuber that I kind of want to mention in in this video that I find very toxic. I've had. Not so much experience with her, but the the experiences that I have had with her are very crappy and shitty. Um, her name is Spirits by Daylight, I think. I don't know. It might be that. Her link will be in her link will be in description. Um. She's a very toxic person. Now. I found Spirits by Daylight by uh, raiding people. I was doing a Minecraft live stream, so I decided to uh, raid her channel. You know, if you guys don't know what a raid is. <laughs> it helps out with views, subs, and likes. And it brings new people to, to your channel. Now, Spirits by Daylight has like 57,000 subscribers. I, 
at the current moment, and she posts a nothing but gotcha life videos, right? So when I raided her, I tried to help her out, and she told basically everybody to fuck off. She was timing, she was timing everybody out, saying, "Oh, I don't need your fucking help," you know, shit like that. And then I believe she even told her community, you know, what was left of her community, to come over to my channel and cuss me out and you know dislike my stream, which is not cool, man. Not cool at all. Um, spirits, bitch. Not cool, bro. And, uh, it sucks. Now, spirits, here's a tip for you. Wake up on the right side of the bed and understand when someone is raiding your channel, they're helping you out. Alright? And if you don't need their help, don't be a bitch about it, alright? Just tell, hey, bro, can you, can, you, can you go raid someone else? You know, instead of me? Don't be a bitch about it. Simply ask us to, uh, walk off or move on to someone else. Now, the Gotcha Life community, it just, it sucks. And if you play the game, and you're toxic, you suck. Now, to anyone who, who doesn't play the game, but knows somebody that does play the game, and they're a toxic person, do me a favor, and slap them in the back of the head as hard as you can, right? And tell them to uh, brighten up, have a good day. Okay, because we need to make this community a better community. The reason why everybody shits on the Gotcha Life games, or the game, I don't know where it's at, I don't know, you know, the reason why is because of the community. Because I personally never played it, and I don't want to play it because of the community. Now, because I don't want to turn into to a toxic person, quite frankly, that game doesn't really quite fit my style of gaming. I like the fucking hardcore games where you shoot people fucking and, and have sex with strippers, man. And uh, Minecraft, you know? Fuck me, uh, fuck me Enderman, bro. Herman's got that tight ass. Anyways, back to what we were saying. Um, if, if you know someone, give them a good old slap in the back of the head. Maybe maybe that'll wake them up and to be a, to be a better person to everybody, including their parents, because I'm pretty sure whoever plays this goddamn game is pissed, is mean and pissed off all the time and takes that out on everybody that they know, including their parents, their siblings, their dog, their goddamn hamster, and then they go on YouTube and go to other channels and spread more hate. You know, that's not cool. And fix your goddamn attitude. You know, maybe eat before 5 o'clock, like old people do. And remember to wake up on the, on the right side of the bed. And don't be a bitch. Be happy. Don't be this, okay? Don't be shy. Be happy. That's going to that's gonna be it for this video. Um, tune in next time when Chocolate takes a shit on the Gotcha Life community. Chocolate, come here, buddy. Come here, bud. Chocolate has a message to everybody. Hey, you got mud all, you got mud all over me. Chocolate, look, look at the camera, Chocolate. Don't be a bitch. Uh, that's what Chocolate said. I gotta go clean your palms. You got mud on me. All right, guys. Peace out. But if you close your eyes, does it hurt?